So you'll have this at your table. And if you're not ready to use this yet in station time, you can keep it in your purple folder until station time. We can't teach today's children like we did in the past. But it's gonna take, but it's gonna be a really long sentence and it'll possibly go to three or two. Yeah. It's not big. Yeah, we'll take it. Things look very different than they did five or six years ago. And I think that's important because our jobs are gonna look different. And what we're gonna ask these children to do in the future is gonna be different than what we've always done. We've had several people, several groups of parents and several teachers come into our classroom just to visit, just to see what's happening in here, just to get a chance to see what school looks like. And they're always amazed at how independent the children work, how Ms. Postolonic and I are both able to pull small groups. They're able to keep working at their seat, they know the task. and. They're blown away by the organization that the classroom has and, and the organization that the children have for themselves. Okay, we need to see what kinds of things we think we might be able to do better tomorrow. Like, um, be better at like, um, like sharing our ideas, making sure everyone has what it's written down. Very good. So making sure that everyone is staying on track and keeping up so that your group can keep moving along. That's great. They came up with two goals. For parents, I think I'd like them to know that their children are learning the same material that we have learned in the past. You know, I've been doing this a long time, and we are still having the same high expectations that we've always had for our kids. It just looks a little different. We give the students choice of where they want to sit around the classroom. We give them choice about what they want to read from the classroom library. They can choose as a part of their progressions where they are and what they feel like they need to work on with some guidance from us, of course, and conferencing with us. But I feel like today's classroom is much more student oriented and less teacher driven. Where did they discover the human body? Where did they discover the human body? How they when does it when does the body overheat where you just eventually pass out? Yeah. So we have two homerooms, but we actually combine them into essentially one class for most of the day. There's 45 kids. I like to think that us collaborating helps them. And I've been really impressed with the kids this year, how well they're working together. My class is friendly, sweet, and encouraging. Sometimes it's louder and instead of just a little bit of friends in one class, you have like a lot of friends to like be encouraging to you and to make you feel good. It's really cool and there's a lot of different stuff you could do like during station time and while you're in extension time you could go and sit down in different spots in our flex seating. The classroom's a little loud sometimes and it can get a little frantic but overall I think it's been really good. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Good job. Before 10 seconds. Great job. Tomorrow we will be thinking about who wants to take each part. But we're not going to discuss that today. We're going to, we've, we've got to give, give our brains a chance to kind of. Um, I feel like they take more ownership when they have had a choice. And, you know, I try to guide them to those choices. But within my guidance, I want them to know that they have a choice. If they would like to present their, 
research as a slideshow, they can do that, or they can write it as a paragraph. So they have some choice about lots, lots of the components of our day. Or in the past, it would just be writing it on paper. They, they have the ability to be much more active, and that helps them. I think it helps their creativity a lot as well. Okay, so what this, this is focusing on is determining the meaning of unfamiliar words and multiple meaning words. So really what that means is... It's just hard words that you have to look around for evidence. Right, you're going to have to look for clues. I teach because I love the children and I love to see their progress and I love to see them just grow as people and grow as learners. Um, their progress and their excitement for learning is what makes me want to come to school every day. We're so blessed to be in a community where the community values education and supports us just emotionally, financially, and their generosity has made a lot of what's happening happen in our classroom.